row. Beautiful. All right, good people. So we're going to get started and we're going to get started with uh, our spine today. So we're going to go for our three bananas in our spine, okay? So as always, we're going to start with our head pose first. We're going to make our way down, kind of to the mid and then kind of the lower. Cool? So if we're good, let's kind of rise on our feet. We're going to stand up first. We're going to just start with our head and we're going to keep things very, very simple to start off with. We're going to just tuck the chin onto the chest, slowly take our chin over to the armpit. Then we're going to take our chin over the shoulders and look behind. So this is the most important part of this corner. And then eyes gaze up, slow, control, back behind you. Find the wall behind you first, chin over the shoulders, to the armpits, to the chest. And let's just create this circle three more times per side. Slow. I think the sounds jumped. Uh, I think the sounds changed from the mic to your computer. Oh, okay. Thanks. Keep it going. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Beautiful. Okay, once you've done three guys, let's change it over. Boom. Armpit, shoulder, eyes over, slow controlled, and try to create this nice big rotation as much as possible. Keep your eyes open if you can. And I have my hands on my body just to kind of make sure my spine is still. Okay, so the only thing that's moving is the neck. Three rotations. Okay. Once you've done three, pretty straightforward. Okay, we're gonna just stay upstairs still. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna keep some sort of glide happening. So we're gonna just imagine our chin is on a tabletop and we're gonna get that chin to glide forward and backwards. And again, you can place one hand on the lower back, one hand on the chest, just to kind of make sure that nothing else is moving below the neck region. Okay, so the only thing that we're interested in right now is the cervical. All right, so the upstairs. And as always, no PBs, just check in, okay? You're taking stock of what you can do, where you can go, and slowly and gradually, just looking kind of, does it feel better? Can you go a little bit further? Okay. Once we've done that, guys, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go side to side. And remember for this, we're gonna get the index and the thumb out. We're gonna just connect the index to the temple and then the thumb to our jaw. And then slowly what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take those hands a little bit far away from the head. And then we're gonna try simultaneously touch the temple and jaw onto those fingers on one side and then slowly to the other side. So just nice and controlled, nothing crazy. Again, start small, okay, take stock. And then if it feels good, that's when you start to expand a little bit further and further. But the key thing here is making sure that you are touching your fingers simultaneously. So you're not kind of like crooked, you're not kind of touching your head or your temple first and jaw. Okay, try to be even. So again, as always, just start with small movements first and then kind of build them over. Cool. It's just nice and straightforward, nothing too crazy. For this, sometimes I like to close my eyes, okay, because I have my fingers holding me accountable and providing this tactile feedback. So it's cool. But just bring attention to this right and left, you know, kind of, do you feel the right glides a little bit better and further than the other one? I'm not trying to force anything, just taking notice, taking stock. Now, if this is cool, what we're gonna do now is just connect those four corners together, okay? So we kind of did the forwards and backwards. We did the side and side. We can still leave the hands out to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start coming forward, side, back, side, boom. So we're just gonna go into, okay, a little circular glide, one way then the other way. Cool, let's go. As you do this, let me just, boom. I stupidly left my tablet on all night on a timer. I was doing some 
upper body work yesterday, and I forgot to turn it off. So my timer is all the way on the other side of the room. Slow, controlled. Again, with this one, keep your eyes open, okay? Just so you can spot the wall or whatever in front of you, okay? Because you should have that one spot, one focal area. From here, let's change it up. So we're gonna reverse the circle. This looks pretty funny in the screen, huh? <laughs> oh, amazing. It's a peaceful and quiet as well. Okay, just keep it going. Remember, just start small. Make sure you're hitting those fingers simultaneously. Keep it going, keep it going. You got time. Last one. Boom. Okay, so from here, we'll just make our way downstairs a little bit. When I say downstairs, just below the chin, okay, and just above, okay, the uh, rib cage. Okay, so just basically think about the rib cage, in fact. So what we're gonna do here with the hands, just so no one's confused, is we're just gonna leave it by the side. And the side, you know, kind of like, we don't, we're not gonna be swinging our hands or anything like that. And if you think, you're gonna keep the hip very still. All I want you to think right now is you're gonna poke the sternum, and sternum is this guy here, okay, where my hands are, okay, in the middle of your chest. We're gonna just poke that chest forward without kind of like the hips going anywhere forwards or backwards, okay? So try not to really isolate the, the mid back, okay? So we're gonna poke the chest forward, and then we're gonna draw that chest back to the back wall. So we're gonna kind of almost round the upper back a little bit. And you can see it's not a very big movement, guys, okay? So again, just be gradual about this, be progressive about it, okay? No PBs required. Notice my hands are still lightly touching my thighs. So I'm limiting my, you know, kind of hands to swing forwards and backwards, but I'm just kind of gonna kind of poke my sternum forward and then try to hide that sternum back, okay? Let's just kind of go into this movement, just nice and straightforward. If you can stand sideways, that'd be amazing, just so kind of Nathan can keep an eye on you, so can I. Okay, nothing too crazy. So a really good way to think about it is, you know, you're nice and grounded, strong. Okay, so your legs and your hips are not moving whatsoever. So that weight distribution on your feet isn't really changing whatsoever. Okay, we're just targeting or aiming to move the upper to mid back. It's just the it's just the mid back guys. You're not uh, leaning forwards as if you're trying to look over a cliff. I like that. So are they doing smooth criminal? Is that what you're saying? Jess is getting some smooth criminal happen. <laughs> some good leaning. <laughs> oh, amazing! If you if you look at yourselves and your own camera and you find yourself if my finger is my head and you're doing this you are leaning so do not lean <laughs> it's Beautiful. just the chest it's like as if okay. you're back on the dance floor just popping the chest <laughs> gentle guys all right from there guys okay if you look straight ahead we're going to still stay upstairs and for this one what we'll do is We'll use our hands, okay? And obviously kind of use your screen as well. So it kind of works like a mirror a little bit for you guys. Remember, be, okay, start small, then kind of build, okay? We're gonna still kind of work on the upstairs bit, but this time, look, same thing. My legs are grounded. My hips are not gonna sway side to side, okay? What I'm looking to do is kind of be strong and stable through the hips. I'm just gonna to look to move this upstairs region. So my hands are gonna to be to the side, okay? Not cranked up. And then from there, look at this. I'm gonna reach one hand to the side and to the side. So again, it's a very small glide, okay? Think about reaching, look at this. My head is not moving side to side either, so I'm not doing this and this, okay? This is something else, okay? So again, my head is still, my hips are nice and grounded, and I'm gonna just move the upstairs, slow and controlled. So think about Nathan is standing on one side and I'm standing on the other side, and we're basically fighting over you, okay? So we're pulling, I'm pulling one hand, and then Nathan's gonna pull the other hand, but your hips are nice and still. So again, just trying to focus on very small movement of the upper to mid back. Okay, 
Okay, just small and gradual. So hips are nice and still, head is still. You're still looking at one focal point. Maybe you're looking at your own screen. So remember, the spine work, guys, needs to be slow, okay, for us to be able to really target and move well. Okay, for us to be soft, we need to work with intention. So this work is not fast, it's not very big. Okay, last couple, keep it going. And rest. Okay, probably the hardest thing is just holding your hands out there, huh? Okay, so we're gonna try connect those four dots together, which is gonna be like, what the hell? So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of place our hands in the thighs like we did at the start, okay? And I'll just kind of stand 45 so hopefully you can see this. So we had four corners we hit, we had forwards, side, back, side. So we're gonna go into this motion whereby, again, my head is still, my hips are nice and still. I'm gonna try, just focus on moving the upper back, right? As opposed to this whole leaning over side to side. So if you feel like you know, you're know you moving on your feet and your weight is all over, that probably means your hips are shifting and whatnot. Now we're not gonna be 100% and you know, hips are gonna be still or anything like that. So try your best to ground your hips, poke that chest forward, take it to one side, bring it back, take it to the other side, or reach forward. So just looking to glide. And again, slow. Nothing crazy. Hey, Nate, this does feel like a little boy band move, huh? Next bit, we're going to probably get the prayer move. It'll be amazing. I'm going to take it to the floor next. Stop <laughs> <doing> some floor. <laughs> I'm more about a spread the love sort of person. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Clearly, I had my coffee. Pretty strong this morning. Boom. Again, trying to make sure the hips are nice and still. Let's change quarters. So, okay, moving the other way, other direction. So again, it helps to look at one spot, guys. And just think back to what we're doing with our head a little bit, right? So you know when we're hitting those corners, making that circular glide? That's pretty much what you're trying to do, okay? But obviously, some of us are gonna be able to move good. Some of us are gonna feel a little bit restricted. But the key thing here is you're moving at your own accord, right? So you're not trying to set a PB. It's not about how fast can you go or how big can you make it. Just be slow, gradual, just think about what you're trying to avoid moving and what smaller area are you trying to move. Just even if you start to bring the attention to that, you're gonna do good. Okay, so just nice and smooth. And a rest. Okay, so if you have like an old towel or anything like that, that'd be amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my jumper, okay? So I've got my jumper here, I'm just gonna roll it, okay? Give it a little twist. Just nice and something. If you have a dowel, that's cool as well. Whatever you got at home. If you don't, just free ball it. That's, full, that's totally fine too, okay? So just nice and simple. What you're gonna look to do is you're gonna just tear that guy apart. So that my elbows are locked at all times. Okay, and what we're gonna do here, guys, my leg's gonna be just fairly wide. So let's say kind of, you know, wider than shoulder width apart, okay? And here's the rule. We're just gonna go into 40 seconds, or let's go 45 seconds per side, so it's a minute and a half work, okay? And Nathan's gonna keep track of, track of the time for us. All we're gonna do is this. My legs are locked, my elbows are locked. I'm going to always think about tearing whatever's in between my hands. I'm gonna always think about this thing that I'm holding going away from the middle of my body no matter where I am, okay? So what I mean by this is we're gonna create a circle, so around the world, slow control. We can move the spine in any way we want to. Okay, so the most obvious way is just, you know, reaching side to side. But look, I can throw rotation in any way I want to. Okay, I can, they're not limited to which way, okay, I can turn. 
So think about, we're just gonna move in one direction, okay, while tearing whatever's in between our hands, making sure the elbows are locked and the legs are locked. Just slow and gradual, let's go. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one. So choose one side, slow control. Okay, I find that sometimes it helps for me to look in between my hands. So wherever my eyes go, my head will likely follow. And wherever my head goes, my shoulders is gonna follow. And wherever my shoulders go, my hips will follow. Okay, so 45 seconds in total. It's saying to go. So the legs are straight. Let's switch sides, guys, straight into it. Okay, be creative as possible. Keep tearing that towel or whatever you're holding on to as well, guys. Three, two. Time. Oh, yeah. Okay. And rest. From here, guys, quick drink of water if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to take it to the floor. Okay, and start our work for the morning. So remember today, we're gonna to try hit long isometric holds, okay? So we're gonna to go to traditional flexibility type of work with long isometric work, and then slowly reinforce those places that we we'll open up later in the session, okay, with some strength protocols. Cool? So, mm -mm -mm. as we've worked really hard on the, the spine and upstairs bit. We'll start with the uh, lower body, cool? So what we're gonna do here is nice and straightforward. Everybody's gonna be onto the ground. And we're gonna start off with a simple, okay, uh, uh, X-Long Rotator, okay? So we're gonna go into a pigeon pose. So for this, two things that I want you to think about right now, okay, is we have this 1990 option available, okay, if you really have restricted hips, this is probably going to be better, because this way we can hinge the hips, and look, keep the spine long, and still get a really good benefit, okay, You're just holding this position for time, and slowly, gradually making our way further and further down. But if we're good from this position, we can throw the back hip over, okay, toes, Okay, or laces of the feet are on the ground. And then from there, making sure we're not cranking to the lower back, we're gonna look to lead the spine forward. So I'm gonna look to lengthen myself, okay? Elbows on the ground, and we're a big fan of making a couple of fists, resting that forehead on top of the wrist. Now, with all the work that we're gonna do this morning, this, the first portion, have this in mind, okay? Your stretch tolerance, okay? So meaning, okay, we're gonna be holding minimum of 90 seconds, a minute and a half per side or per stretch. And you need to make sure that you can tolerate that stretch for that time. So if you're already feeling pretty aggressive burning sensation or shaking sensation in the first 10, 15 seconds, it's probably too hard, okay? So just regress it a little bit, cool? But if we're good, let's go into a variation that you guys want to, okay? Front toes are curled up. My hips are nice and square, okay? I'm gonna slowly bring my elbows down to the ground. Nathan's gonna start the time for 90 seconds in four. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna find my forehead on my wrists. My spine is nice and long, and I'm bringing attention to my breath. Okay, so what we're looking to cultivate is just long, slow breath. Okay, that's the main goal. My spine is nice and long, 
So right now, we should be at this S of stretching rather than the G, so no one should be shaking or biting their tongue or teeth. Should be able to breathe, should be able to talk. And right about now, okay, think about Nathan standing right behind you and he's gonna be pulling back on your leg. So imagine a sit back or slide back a little bit, slot back into the glute and breathe. Now, if this feels really good, okay, and you feel like your spine is softening, you can just simply start to walk your hands out to, okay, in front of you, and then maybe the forehead is making its way down to the ground, okay? So, apologies if my sound is muffled. Uh four three two and one now slowly walk your hands back posture up and then come out of it okay so no one should be launching some launching themselves out okay so from here let's make our way to the other side now remember okay you're gonna have imbalances okay that's just a universal law so the general rule is don't force yourself okay aesthetically like the other side okay so don't start to crank shit up and then make it really hard or different, follow the principles, okay? So once we're nice and square, curl those toes up, find the ground with your elbows. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly finding that fist, okay? So if you did what I just done, which is, you know, started with my good side and, and I've come to this not so loved side, obviously I'm feeling this way more potently. I'm not gonna try, you know, force myself here. So I'm just gonna wait, take stock, okay? Allow my breath to kind of just calm things down in my body. Just following the same principles though, to think about is my hip nice and square? Is Nathan dragging my back feet away from me still? And I, Am I using my breath to just get a little bit soft in the spine in my head? So is my head truly relaxed on my fists right now? Okay. Remember the big no here is nothing in the knee, okay? So often we have to regress the angle of the knee or people feel this in the knee because the hips are so restricted that the only place you can create torque from is the knee. This is why make sure you take the right option also throughout the stretch you're not fighting if you're fighting okay you're not stretching yeah if you're starting to relax maybe you can walk those hands out in front trying to find the ground with Three, your forehead. two one slowly walk your hands back posture up and back out of it okay so that was the outside of the hips Let's go on the inside of the hips, okay? So for this, we'll go back into this 90-90 position, okay? And then what we're gonna do here, guys, is again, the front leg doesn't really matter whether it's you know, in 90-90 or straight. Our objective here is two things. We're gonna get nice and long from the spine as possible, and we're gonna be falling towards the back knee as possible at the hip crease. So two things, long spine and moving at the hips only. Whether that's rotation at the hips, Okay, so whether that's rotation at the hips or falling forward, it's happening here as opposed to the obliques. So no one should feel anything through the torso. Okay, so let's just kind of get ourselves into this okay, position. So my back knee okay, is in line with my back hip. My ankle is in line with the back knee. Toes are curled up. I'm going to posture up okay, for 90 seconds again. I'm going to slowly rotate at the hips okay, and think about keeping the spine long in three, two, one. And here we can be kind of pretty active, pretty conscious about what we're doing, okay? So a couple of things that we've been working and we've been working this particular stretch, you know, on uh, Fridays, okay, as part of our middle split work as well. What we're gonna think about is pushing the whole back leg into the ground as hard as possible. Today we're gonna do it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just relax everything that you were tensing. Now, hopefully that's gonna allow you to maybe posture up a little bit, use the ground with your hands. Maybe it allows you to rotate a little bit further, okay? 
Maybe it's a bit of both. Whatever it is, just pull yourself a little bit more into this internal rotation position. Okay, so the hips are fixed because they're on the ground, but we're going to be using our own spine to get ourselves into the position. Okay, in this case, more internal rotation. Again, let's just kind of push down hard for five seconds this time. Cool, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Just release everything. Posture up a little bit more. Maybe there's a little movement again. And we're just going to hang out here. Again, use your breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back off. And then we'll go to the other side. Okay? So, same thing again. Okay, back knee is bent. Okay. From here, we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. So, Initially, let's just take stock. So again, use the hands on the ground to get the spine as tall as possible. Okay, see if you can get a little bit of rotation towards the back knee at the hips, not your head, not your shoulders, not your torso. Okay, think about the hips. And then from here, we'll just kind of smash our back leg down for 10 seconds. Ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, release everything. And maybe we can adjust that body a little bit this time. Okay, again, it's a very small movement, nothing too aggressive. Okay, it's not very big. We are using our own spine to pull ourselves into deeper internal rotation at the hips. Once we're ready, let's do that one more time, just for five seconds this time. Look at your leg, back leg in particular, smash it. Five, four, three, two, one, release, tall and rotate. And let's breathe. Slowly back it off and release. Okay, so that's our hip on the inside and the outside. Just kind of give them a little bit of rest, okay? Let's kind of work upstairs. So what we're gonna do here, guys, if you have a couch, that's amazing, bench, little sofa, whatever it is, maybe not a bench, okay? I'm gonna use these boxes. We're gonna be doing it just putting our arms across. Now, if you don't have a box, sofa, couch, whatever, right next to you, that's okay. Okay, I will show you a simple regression, okay, for this. But what we're gonna be doing, guys, let me just kind of talk you through. So as you guys are getting set up, what we're gonna be doing is just kind of working our shoulders in what we call extension. So arms are back behind us, okay? So this position, you'll notice my palms are face down, okay? And my shoulders are coming in a little bit, okay? But this position of me taking my arms back behind me is a position we normally don't go into, at least proactively, right? So we're looking to kind of open the chest and shoulders, by utilizing our own strength in the back of the shoulders. So ideally what I wanna see happen is, okay, hands are gonna be on, and I want at least your forearms, okay, or maybe even the crease of the elbows to be on, okay? From here, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting the spine to be sitting tall, squeezing the shoulder blades. Now look, when I squeeze the shoulder blades, my sh shoulders open up, and I'm gonna scoop my butt forward, and I'm gonna load this guy up. Now if you don't have something like this, it's okay, we can go look, palms facing back, Squeeze the shoulder blades, and we're gonna do the same thing, but hands on the ground. This looks a little bit funny, okay, because we're gonna be really far away. With both, what you wanna make sure is you're not feeling it in your elbow joint. Now that happens if you, can, if you are kind of hypermobile, but also if you're not stable from the shoulders, okay, this is your weakest point, okay? So shoulders, wrist, elbows, okay? So be mindful. If you're good, we're gonna go for 90 seconds here, guys. Okay, so if everybody's good, let's get those hands back behind us, whether it be on the ground or couch. Okay, let's sit up nice and tall, eyes are gazed up to the corner of the ceiling. We're gonna scoot our butt out, feel that pre-stretch. Now, we'll go in three, two, one. Squeeze the shoulders to lift the chest forward. 
And then think about pushing your hands down into the ground or box couch, whatever you're kind of working with and lift the chest more forward and breathe. So just like the hips, you want to make sure that you're in a position, okay, where you can tolerate this amount of tension, okay, this amount of stretch. You're actually using your own strength to create part of this tension. So think about, okay, what areas do I need to be working from? So again, think about squeezing the shoulder blades, making sure the ears are nowhere near the shoulders, and then not dumping into your lower back. So just lift your lower back forward a little bit, okay? So we're not rounding, but rather arching, if anything. Okay, so chest is coming forward, breath, there is nothing in the neck because you're pushing the world away from you. And breathe. You can scoot your butt forward a little bit if you want to feel a little bit more and load it more. Okay, but it's again very gradual, very small. Three, two, one. Slowly walk your butt back and then peel your hands off. Okay, now, because we have the same okay, box, whatever kind of at our arsenal right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that for okay, opening overhead movements, okay? So what we're gonna do here, guys, this is a simple butcher's block variation. So again, if you don't have a couch and box, okay, we'll modify it, okay, in a minute. But what we're gonna be doing here, guys, pretty straightforward again, we're gonna make sure our palms are facing towards each other initially. If you feel good, you can put the palms down, okay? So you have the option of either facing together or palms down. But ultimately what we're going to do is, okay, we're going to have the forearms onto the box. And then from there, okay, shoulder width apart, walk your knees back. Now a couple of details. Your butt is going to be tucked under and your armpits are going to try to wrap. Now this two position, your arms being wrapped and butt being tucked, is really critical to start off with. Because from here, keeping that position, then you're going to think about lengthening the backside to the back wall and then bringing the armpit down towards the ground. Be mindful, you're not just dumping down, rolling your shoulders in towards your ears, because otherwise it's gonna be really painful on the front of your shoulders. So no one should feel this here. Essentially what we're looking to do when I say armpits is look, you're gonna try, okay, wrap the armpits. So you bring everything through here, the outside of the shoulders. This way you can load most of this, okay? So if everybody's good, we can do this. If you're on the ground, you can do the same thing, palms down, take your butt back, wrap the armpits and try bring that chest down towards the ground, okay? But if everybody's cool, let's get it done. Okay, so slowly walk your knees back, neck is long, tuck the butt, wrap the armpits, we'll go in three, two, one, bring your chest down towards the ground without collapsing. Okay, so again, think about that spine lengthening initially. So the butt's going back behind you as your fingers are reaching in front of you. Okay, everything in that shoulder region is being active right now. So keeping that shoulders wrapped. Now think about arching your lower back or dropping your belly button down towards the ground slowly. Okay, your neck is still long. Keep the chest where it is. Then you're gonna slowly tuck the butt underneath you again. A little posterior tilt if you have it. Again, allow the belly button to drop, go to anterior tilt. So what we're doing here is just playing with our pelvis position. Shoulders are still organized. We're still thinking about lengthening the body. Keep your shoulders wrapped still. Let's go into that posterior tilt to finish it off with. Where are we at? 
It's tough. We got for 90 seconds again. <laughs> keep at it, keep at it. What's that time, Nate? I said that was time. Ah, cool. Ask, ask, ask if you're going for 90 seconds again. Cool. All right, once you're done, guys, okay, nice and simple, what we're gonna get into here is take it back downstairs to our hips. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've been working this, you know, active middle split into a passive middle split, okay? What we're gonna do today is go into something we call frog, okay, so frog stretch. Now, again, be really mindful with this that we are uh, making sure our um, knees are pretty safe, okay, with this. So, the reason I say knees is because it gets quite sensitive, okay? If you're, going to, if you're on a hard floor, so this might be a little bit uncomfortable. So just kind of maybe put a towel or a cushion under your knees, okay? What we're gonna be going into here, guys, is a pretty straightforward position. So we're gonna be onto our knees, okay? We're gonna come onto our forearms like so, and then slowly we're gonna turn the toes out, walk our knees to the sides. Now, okay, from side view, this is what it looks like. So our intention is going to be trying to get the hips to be in line with the knees by pushing yourself back, okay? Notice my toes and the angles of my shin, okay? So I'm not in, I'm going, I'm flaring out. Essentially, think about this as a horse stance that we've been doing, okay? But with your toes turned out quite aggressively, okay? So again, I'm gonna talk you through the position as we go along. As always, at the S of stretching, then the G to start off with. We're gonna hold this for two minutes. Okay, so not 90 seconds, this is for two minutes. So first, let's just get into the position. Okay, toes are turned out, knees are wide. Come onto your forearms initially, and you can lean more forward just to, you know, kind of open your hips up a little bit first. Toes are turned out. Then from there, we're gonna slowly push ourselves back, and we'll start the time in three, two, one. So right now, this first instance, let's just take stock. Okay, so how does it feel? What position? Toes are turned out. Horrible should probably be the answer. <laughs> I've got so, to ask, what's the S&G of stretching? I haven't heard this. Give me, give me something. So a couple of things here, guys, okay? I just want you to try and play out first. Just kind of lean forward a little bit towards okay, your hands or your forearms. You can see the stretch kind of starts to be reduced a little bit. So if you were to go the other way, so get the hips back towards the heels, slowly you will see the loading increases okay so we want to keep this load obviously on the legs and then i want you to kind of play with the pelvis position so what we'll do is you know think about tucking the butt underneath so trying to go to posterior tilt so you're going to activate your glutes to tuck your hips underneath you as you keep pushing back okay let's just kind of stay in this position so our butt's working really hard to tuck the butt underneath us, okay, so tuck that PPT. Neck is long, nothing in the traps. And then from there, we're gonna allow ourselves to go to anterior tilt. So imagine you're gonna drop that belly button down towards the ground. So you're gonna arch your back. Now, as we arch our back, we still wanna make sure we're pushing back into the heels a little bit. So you can see we can get into different spaces, okay, just using our pelvis position. So knowing that, let's go into, okay, five to 10 second hold in each position by yourself. So whatever feels good, okay, do that. And then do the stuff that doesn't feel good as well, okay, for five to 10 seconds. So you can start with pelvic uh, tilt, okay, so posterior tilt, hanging for five to 10 seconds here, working really hard. That's 10 minutes. Using your breath to marry the work. Then once you're happy there, you can drop your belly button down towards the ground. Two minutes, 20. How long was that? Two minutes, 30 now. Beautiful. Okay. So last little bit, guys, again, play with those two positions, okay? Then you also have that weight distribution strategy, okay? So you can unload it, then load it.
That's three minutes. And then boom. Coming forward and then exit strategy up to you, how you do it. Jesus. Booyah. Okay. So that one's a little bit different. So just be mindful. Okay. So from here, all we're going to do is keeping this straight forward. Okay. We're going to just kind of go into a couch stretch. So nice and straight, easy stuff. Okay. So all we're going to require here is a, a wall or a box. Okay. In my case. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to open up the front of the legs. Okay. So again, maybe, okay, if you, everybody has a wall at home, so you can definitely do this. I would probably say, you know, use a cushion maybe under your knees if you have really hard floors. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be simply just placing one leg onto, let's say, this box or your couch, or you can use this on a wall as well. Then we're going to try to bring the knees as close to that wall or the box. Okay. From here, I'm going to slowly raise my chest up and trying to keep my torso upright as possible. Okay. The goal here is to, what we're going to do is rather than kind of driving forward like so, what we're going to actually do is use the front leg to push ourselves back to the heel. So I'm going to actually look to Okay, get, work the belly of the quads a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm using my front leg to assist me to keep my posture upright. How, you know, if I am arching my back too much, then I'm going to just back the knee off slightly. Okay, that way I'm going to reduce the stretch, but I'm going to be in a better position and I can hold this better for a minute and a half. Okay, so if everybody is ready to go, okay, let's get that leg up. Knees in a position where we can sustain it for a minute and a half. Slowly coming up. Nathan's going to start the time in three, two, one. This is a 90 second stretch. Okay, slow control. Whoop. Boom. Okay, so again, use your front leg to push your bum back to the heels. Think about keeping your rib cage down. Okay, so if you just place your hands in your ribs, literally pull it down. So it's like this crunching effect a little bit. This is another way of saying, hey, stop arching your back too much. Okay, so keep in that position and the rib cage or the torso, then push back. Okay, you can also place your hands back behind you, maybe just, you know, one hand between the bum and the heel, just to kind of see what distance you have. Okay, and then try close that distance up. If you are touching your butt on the heel already, that's cool maintain that okay, touch and then try push your hip as far forward as possible without breaking that heel and bum connection. Okay, hips are nice and square, rip cage is down. What's the time, Nathan? 10 seconds to go. Beautiful. Okay. Nice and tall here, guys. Keep pushing back. Pump. And slowly leaning forward, back it off. Boom. From here, we'll go to the other side. Okay. Straight into it. So, leg on. Knees meet the ground. We're going to slowly posture up. Again, be mindful that this side might be slightly different than the other side. That's cool. Follow the principles. Tuck the bum, hip cage down. We'll go in three, two, one. Time starts. So again, we don't need to feel an extreme stretch right now, okay? And we may not be where we finished off on the other side. That's cool as well. We have a minute and a half to work gradually, okay? So again, think about rib cage down initially. Okay, then use the front leg to push the heels, uh, push your bum back towards your heels. Maybe reach back, find the distance. Okay, see how far you really are. Okay, no one should be struggling with balance here. Okay, so if you're pushing back, if your hips are nice and stable, everybody should be balanced. Again, use your breath. Nice and long spine. If your bum is okay, connected to the butt, Again, think about pushing your hips forward without losing that connection, okay? So you're loading up slightly differently. Okay, if it's not in quite contact with the heel, then again, keep working your way back. 
But again, think about taking the arch out of the lower back initially. So keep the rib cage down. Three, two, one. Slowly leaning forward and back it off. Boom. Okay. So from here, quick drink of water. Okay. We're just going to hit a couple of positions slightly differently just to kind of reinforce this. Okay. So ultimately what we're going to do is everything we've just opened up a little bit. We're just going to use a little bit of strength protocol. Okay. To reinforce the position. So rather than kind of, you know, allowing the time and passive holds to get us into a new range of motion, we're gonna try to use our own strength to get into these positions, okay? So as we just finished with the lower body, okay, let's just kind of start with an upper body. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, again, require this jumper, towel, whatever you use at the start, okay? And a couple of rules that we have here for the upper body guys is this, okay? So closer to the hands, okay, the harder it's going to be. The wider the hands, the easier it's going to be. Okay, so be mindful of that. Essentially, what we're going to do is we were going to work in that extension. So we did it by having the hands behind us, scooting our butt forward. Okay, what we're going to do now is just sitting on the, okay, bum on the heel. This is the low sitting position. If this is uncomfortable, you can be in this position as well. But the key thing here is making sure the spine is not arching, leaning forward, shoulders are not shrugging and things like that. So essentially we want the spine to be rigid. Okay, the stuff is gonna go back behind you and the palms are gonna be facing forward. Okay, so one more time, what we're gonna be doing here guys, okay, palms are gonna be facing directly forward. Okay, now from there, a couple of things. We're gonna be depressing the shoulders. So I'm gonna say down, squeeze. The squeeze in the shoulder blades is gonna allow us to get the shoulders stable at the back. And then we're going to be lifting the arms up as high as possible in this extension. Notice as I come up, I am not leaning forward to get the hands high. I am not, look at my shoulders, okay, covering my ears and my shoulders by leaning forward. So ideally, you're sideways so Nathan can see you. And if you guys need correcting, he will correct you. But what we're going to be doing here, guys, is five second pause for five reps in each position. Okay, so just nice and straightforward, nothing crazy. Okay, so again, be gradual with this. Okay, if everybody's ready, take a knee. We're gonna come down with the shoulders, squeeze the shoulders. This is your starting position. Here we go, and lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, okay, down. Squeeze, lift. Five, four, three, two, two. Down, depress, squeeze, Lift, five, four, three, two, one, down. Depress, squeeze, lift, five, four, three, two, three, down. Depress, squeeze, lift, five, four, three, two, four, down. Depress, squeeze, Lift, five, four, three, two, five, down. I may have added a bonus one in there. I'm not sure, I lost count, my bad. Okay, so from here, that's the shoulder extension. We're gonna quickly go into a straight forward, okay, into the hips. So think about that frog stretch that we did. Okay, we're gonna go to our horse stance. Okay, horse stance, good morning. So what we're gonna require us to do here, guys, feet are under the hips. We're gonna turn our heels out first for one, two, three, four, five. So roughly our feet are forward, okay? From here, again, one more time, we've got heels out, one, two, three, four, five, roughly, give or take, okay? Maybe a little bit narrower, a little bit wider, but from there, we're gonna sink down. Now, I'm giving you this side view because I want you to think about my spine is nice and vertical, okay? I'm not getting down by squatting down, by hinging at the hips, yeah? So again, toes are forward, pull the knees back as if the knees wanna be in line with the hips, posture up, Okay, get your sit bones to come to the ground. Push on the outside edges of your feet to pull the knees back further. Okay, so everybody meet me in this position, looking straight ahead. Now from here, we're gonna hinge at the hips, keep pulling your knees back, pause at the bottom. Then we're gonna posture up, drive the hips forward, pull the knees back. This is number one. We're gonna do five of these. 
Okay, and the last one we're gonna hold for five seconds in each position. Here we go, hinge, pause, drive. Sink lower. Hinge, drive. Knees further back, sit lower. Here we go, hinge, drive, Keep pulling your knees back in line with the hips. Last one, here we go. We're gonna hold for five seconds. Hinge, now sit bones down. Keep pulling your knees back for five, four, three, two, one. Drive forward, keep pulling your knees back. Sink down, four, five, four, three, two, one. Drive up. Okay, from here, let's go straight down again. We're gonna to go to that shoulder extension one more time followed by our horse stance good morning again. Okay, so let's start double down a little bit. Okay, I promise this will be five reps. I'm gonna do my best to count properly. Okay, as most of you know, I can't count past five. Okay, but that was even a struggle. So from here, position, sitting down, we're gonna depress, retract, lift. Five, four, three, two, one down make sure you're tearing that towel guys here we go depress retract lift five four three two two down depress squeeze lift five four three two three down depress squeeze lift five four three two four down, depress, squeeze, lift, five, four, three, two, five, down, straight up, standing, okay, we're going to go into our horse stance, so, toes forward, heels out for, okay, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to sink down as my knees are being pulled back, so I'm using my own butt strength to pull the knees back. Posture is up. Sit that sit bone down further. Keep using the butt to pull the knees back. Here we go, take that first hinge. Keep pulling the knees back and drive forward. Okay, keep your hips forward nice and square. One, here we go, hinge, drive. Push that hip forward, hinge, drive. Pull the knees back, hips forward. Knees back, hips forward. Sink down further. Here we go. Hinge. Drive. Knees back, hips forward. Here we go. Last one. Five second pause. Hinge. Sit bones down. Knees back further. Keep that spine long for four, three, two, one. Drive the hips forward. Knees back. Sink the sit bones down further for five, four, three, two, one, stand up tall, beautiful, shake your legs off, okay, so from here, what we're going to be going into, guys, is our overhead position, so same thing, we're going to use this guy, okay, boom, and this time, we're going to be lying on the ground, okay, so a couple of rules, remember, with this, guys, is when you are lifting up, think about tearing this thing, we want to use all this stuff on the side of the shoulders here, okay, we want those things to be active, Okay, so the work is pretty straightforward. Some of you may need to hold it a little bit wider. Okay, what we're gonna be going into, guys, is my head is lightly touching the ground. I'm going to be elevating my shoulder blades. Okay, so I'm gonna elevate by pushing, okay, or reaching forward with my hands or knuckles. And then we're we'll looking to lift up. Now, as I lift up, think about, again, tearing the towel or the whatever you're holding between your hands. Okay, same thing, we're gonna go for five reps. Five second pause at the top. Cool, here we go. Head lightly touches. We're gonna elevate, lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Elevate, lift. Five, four, three, two, two. Down. Elevate, lift. Five, four, three, two, three, 
down. Elevate. Lift. Five. Four. Three. Two. Four. Down. Elevate. Lift. Five. Four. Three. Two. Five. Down. And rest. Okay? So no one should have felt that anything through the trap region whatsoever. Okay? Standing up. All we're going to do from here is get into the front of our hey, hip flexors a little bit. So we're going to go into a little bit of ballistic protocol. And for this, this long split, we're going to be hinging forward. We're going to take a massive step back. Now remember with the step, I'm going to wiggle the back feet back as far as I can till my knees are behind my front heel. Then I'm going to look to posture up. Okay. Now the key thing here is this, this posture because this allows me to already start to lengthen this hip flexor, okay? My butt needs to be working to also pull my torso upright. So one more time with the setup. Knees bent, I'm gonna step back, reach back as far as I can, okay? From there, I'm gonna posture up. Now, three things that are happening. My knees are kind of trying to drive forward in that direction. My heels are dropping back behind me. My butt's on to keep my posture up, okay? So again, three vectors, forwards, backwards and then my spine is long. Because now what we're gonna do is 50 pulses keeping this position. Glutes need to be on throughout. So from here, drive the knees forward, drop the back heel, posture up, and let's bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, boom. Exit, we'll go to the other side, okay, same thing. Hinge, take a step back, wiggle that back feet as far back as you can, front knee behind the front heel, posture up using a butt, <coughs> drive the front knee forward, drop the back heel. Posture, glutes are on, and bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Exit. Boom. Okay, let's go through that one more time. Okay, with the upper body. Nice and straightforward. Five second lift. Okay, make sure you're tearing the ground. And again, if you want to feel a little more challenging, you can bring your hands a little bit closer together. If it's a little bit too, if you're feeling this in the traps, get your hands a little bit wider. Here we go, head resting. We're going to reach, lift. Five, four, three, two, one, down, reach, lift, five, four, three, two, two, down, lift, lift, five, four, three, two, three, down, reach, lift, five, four, three, two, four, down, reach, lift, five, four, three, two, five, down. Standing up, straight into our long step pulses, boom, hinge, step back, make our way back, posture up, knees travel forward, drop the back heel back, glutes are on to posture up, and let's bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Boom. To the other side. Okay, boom. Hinge, step back. 
Okay, position, posture up. Glutes should be on. Okay, drive the front knee forward, drop the back heel, glutes, and bounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, boom. And rest. Okay. Come on over, guys. How are we feeling? Talk to me. What's happening? Everybody still in one piece? That was great. Thank